It was a two-part investigative piece by Larry Barker who took on illegal telemarketers. Larry fought back and lawmakers at the Roundhouse were paying attention. News 13's Rachel Knapp explains how Larry Barker's investigation was the inspiration behind a new bill. It's the phone calls people don't want to get. Phone solicitors ringing and ringing. It's not only annoying, it's illegal. And they're doing it by robocalling, pre-recorded sales calls, and by ignoring do not call lists and using phony caller ID. Telemarketers are making these calls not to annoy you, not to waste your time. They want to get to your money. They want to get your money. They want to get your identity. They want to hurt you um, because that's how they put money in their pockets. It's an awful way to make a living in my opinion, but that's why they're doing it. And unfortunately, they called Larry Barker. So we embarked on a year-long investigation to take on the anonymous phone peddlers. Larry's two-part investigative piece identified nearly a dozen scammers, took them to court, and won. Did you watch the Larry Barker investigation? I did watch his two pieces on uh, cellular phones. One state lawmaker was listening and says he felt the pain of harassing phone solicitors, too. A lot, uh, and a lot more recently. Uh, I get a lot of, um, they're, they're trying to sell health insurance, and I get calls from all over the, the nation, random states, but then I also get calls from local numbers, including my own prefix. It's like, oh, I'm, I, I need to answer that, and it turns out it's one of these solicitations. Representative Matthew McQueen drafted a bill that updates the old Anti-Phone Solicitation Act. The old statute talks about a telephone line, and a lot of people these days not only have a cell phone, but a lot of people only have a cell phone. So we just wanted to make it clear that it also applied to cellular phones. So your wireless phones can be part of the do not call list. A lot of phone calls are illegal and a lot of them are hard to stop. This bill won't solve everything, but it will make it clear that cellular phones are protected as well. Rachel Knapp, KRQE News 13. Federal law allows people victimized by illegal telemarketers to sue them in court. Larry Barker did and won tens of thousands of dollars. That money was donated to local nonprofit organizations.